everyone come out because we wanted to actually celebrate a young lady that's traveling the country doing her thing. I'm not going to go into too much detail about that because I'll take all your story away from you. But anyway, we have one. Michelle and Annette. I call her Lady Go-Go because she's always on the go doing her thing across the country. She's here, called everybody out tonight just so that we can actually show her a good time and she can actually talk to us at this moment to let us know what she's doing across the country for African-American cigar smokers and businesses. Okay. Michelle and that, yeah. come on up, stand on up. Yeah. All right. All right, give us an idea of what you're doing here. Now, I told you not to do that, but I, have, I get phone calls all the time because I, I, like he calls me Lady Go-Go. I go everywhere and smoke. I'm always in a different city smoking somewhere. So I get calls all the time. So what I decided to do for my birthday, which was last week, I said, I'm going to do a National Cigar Lounge tour. So I was going to all the black, unfortunately I can't go to all the lounges that I wanted to go to because originally I was driving and the guy that was driving with me, he canceled. So I have to fly to each place. So I started in Dallas and I went to several places out there. And then I went to Houston. There was a ton of them. I couldn't hit all those up as well. And of course I'm here in Atlanta. So tomorrow I'm going to try to hit as many as I can um, tomorrow. And then I fly to uh, D.C. Then I go to Baltimore. Then I go to Brooklyn. Then I got home. But I plan on going to Memphis because there's a couple of there. So that's why I'm here. And then also I work for a company called Via Havana. We don't have them out here. They're big in uh, uh, Texas. They're big in um, Los Angeles. So I was going to try to hit up a couple of lounges out here. Um, old school, when we were here a couple of years ago, was trying to get them into the shop, but they didn't go too far. So I'm going to try it again, but there's some really, really good cigars made in Costa Rica. So um, hopefully when we hit up a couple of the lounges, you guys will be able to try them out in the lounges. And, um, and then, of course, I could not not come here and not uh, my original Mac family. Mm -hmm. How did I meet you guys anyway? Facebook. 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 Yeah. 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 There's a guy named Glenn that used to live Glenn. out here. Right. Yeah. Yeah. He found me on Facebook at one of my events. Cast. I've been doing events in Los Angeles for 10 years. And so I fly, like I flew out here a couple years ago, or three years ago, several years now. Yeah. Seven, yeah. Seven, yeah. seven years. Yeah. And I did, a, uh, seven. Yeah, I did a, uh, an event here, and then I go to Houston, I do events there. So I just fly all over. Just, and it's not really a big money, it's just because I love bringing black folks together and promoting their business and try to bring awareness. So people call me all the time, so I'm going to put together a whole website with all the black on. I'm going to do like video footages so people can kind of see what the. We you know, need you to make some like. money though. I make okay. money. Okay. I got, this whole trip was funded. Okay, okay. <laughs> so it, it's sponsored. Like, I get sponsors that take care of everything. So um, that's pretty much why I was here. Right. Well, it's good to meet you guys. Thanks yeah, for the ones I don't know. Again. All right. <laughs> or the ones I've only seen on Facebook. And for the record, the Glenn she's talking about, his name is Glenn Rohar. Oh, He's one of our original Mac members. He was one of the founders. He sat at the table with us roughly about eight years ago and started Metro Atlanta Cigar Society. Which is... The largest, the largest African American smoke cigar. group in the world. He says cigar society in the world. In the world. In the world. So just to let you know, that's who Glenn is. He's out in Lancaster. He comes to town from time to time. So whenever he comes through, we try to get him over to everybody's shop, see how everyone's doing. But anyway, we have grown here in Atlanta, not just from the uh, cigar perspective, as far as retailers are concerned. That's why I'm glad to have Conrad. I'm glad to have Mark here. Uh, Cigar Rose of Georgia. Mark, say the name of your, your shop. Well, it's a liquor store, but I have a 50 face team. What's the name of the shop? Well, well Wine and Spirits. In Ackworth, Georgia. Uh, Hit so me up you, on Facebook and like the page. Sir, so sir, if you're ever up there, sir. do your thing. Go ahead and support this brother. I'll drive but up. also, we have a, a lot of, or, or a huge amount of African American cigar smokers that have really jumped into the game. Now, I'm going to do this. It's kind of unusual, but I got to do this. There was a brother roughly about six years ago that I met that um, we played around with the music that we were playing in Oscars. But anyway, we played around with the music. And this brother sat there and he was naming songs as I was playing the songs. And right then, I gave him the name Old School. <laughs> Little did I know that Old School was going to turn into something Phenom, <laughs> right here in Atlanta, Georgia, and he's in Alabama. Where else are you? 
He said every place. Letting everybody know about old school and old school flavor. So I'm just here to say we got old school in the house too. He did a little promotion as well. We got the um I don't want I want to I want to mention everyone. Forgive me if I don't get everyone, but I got to mention this motorcycle group <laughs> cuz yeah. they like family to me. Yeah. Hold on, hold on. Matter of fact, who we got here? Who we got here? We got a few people. Billy we, got D. we got Gunslinger. We got, I call him. You don't want me to tell him. Can you call him? It's all good. K-Y. We got KY in the house. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we got, we got Billy D. Yeah. Billy, Billy D. D. So, so we doing our thing here, and we making it happen down here in the south side of Atlanta. Um, and, and my thing is, is I want us to grow. We call it Metro Atlanta Cigar Society for a reason. We wanted to be or take over all of the uh, shops and and help them understand the African-American smoker in Atlanta. Because what was happening before Metro Atlanta Cigar Society is that they were treating African-American smokers as if everyone smokes Swisher Swisher Sweets. I can't get that out. (laughs) They walk in the humidor and it's like, yeah, here are the sweet cigars over here. This is where you need to be. What they didn't realize is that we really smoke cigars. We are the fastest growing community in the cigar, sorry, we're the fastest growing um, um, entity in the cigar community is African American smokers. When everybody's going broke, we still find a way to get our five, 10, and $15 to buy our stick and do our thing. And we do it a little different than other shops do. All right, y'all been to some, some cigar shops that uh, did their little parties and they had the, the Budweiser and the Coors and I'm not saying anything bad about that. I'm just saying, we got we do ours a little bit different. We kick in the door we, and we come in with, 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 with African American cigar smokers who buy a minimum of two cigars. Most of us buy more than that. Uh, and so we affect their bottom line. And they have realized over the past eight years since we've been in uh, uh, in existence, they've realized the value of the African American cigar smoker. And because of that, because of that, now we have we had before we had two in Atlanta. We had two black cigar shops. Now we have over ten black cigar shops in Atlanta. You understand what I'm saying? And we have several more in other cities because of the Metro Atlanta Cigar Society. The fact that we riled up our smokers and realize that we are a market that is to be reckoned with. So when they want, when, when, when the cigar industry wants to know what African American cigar smokers enjoy, and we, we enjoy a plethora of different types of cigars. They come to us to find out what we smoke. And we send it out to you all, and you all respond back to us when you when, when you smoke the cigar that we, we mentioned, and then they know. And then they come out with cigars that that we enjoy. And that's because of Metro Atlanta Cigar Society. And the other thing. Yes, yes, we are. We're doing black smoke. We'll talk year. about that. Okay. Okay. And also. And when, when, also, I'm gonna keep coming at you. Also, the other thing that has happened is that I don't know if you notice, your reps are getting a little darker. Yes, they are. We have more African American cigar reps in the history of cigar. Is that a word? Yeah. I'm just saying. Yes, sir. 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 Here it is. Here it is. We got more, and a lot of them are operating right here in the southeast, handling Georgia as their account. So because they realize the value of African American cigar smoke. He's repping. What are you repping? You repping via what? Via Havana. Via Havana cigars. So just just going on that, Metro Atlanta Cigar Society will be doing black smoke in Las Vegas on the 21st of July till the 24th of July. We're there every year, roughly around the third week of the third Thursday in um, uh, July, every year. Headquarters is at the Venetian Palazzo Hotel. You know, that's the of Any hotel. Don't have nothing to do with that. Steve might be down there with us. The Q's might be down there with us. But what I do know is IPCPR will be there also. 
We're there, they're there. We're gonna have a great cigar smoking time. So if you thought Big Smoke was something, come enjoy a black smoke to find out what we do. We do something a little bit different. The entire cigar industry is there that we can do that we're there. Uh, I'm sorry. No. No. You need to get your own package. Here. We'll tell you the dates, but you get your own package. Okay? We don't Here. deal with packages because we don't get paid for that. Yep. Okay. All right? And we don't we don't get any money off of this. This is not for us to get money off of. Mac, Mac Society is not trying to get money off of this. It's not for us to get money off of. It's for us to come together in Las Vegas, celebrate our anniversary. This is our eighth, eighth anniversary. We want to celebrate our anniversary. You all get your discounts or whatever you want to on your own. We don't get anything from that. So how do we find out that information? You found out You found out what you need to find out, find out which is right. the okay. dates, all right? Okay. And, and the location. I, you can give me and then your contact Rick, information. I'll Rick Davis will, will give you the information for the little events that we have okay. during that time okay. frame. Itinerary. None That's of which, saying. by That's the way. Like, how do we but, find that, the itinerary? Again, listen, once I get your contact information, I will actually give you the itinerary that we have in Las Vegas. Well, what I want to point out to you is that None of our events cost you any money. From us. From us. We're not charging you anything. So we have an event at Casa Fuente on the first night that we get there. Our meet and greet. That's the meet and greet on the 21st. It doesn't cost you anything to come to that event. But we expect that you're going to purchase at least what, what are our, what's two, our two, two cigars. cigars. All right? And you're going to get at some drinks one. anyway because you, know, you want something to drink while you're smoking those cigars. But that's that's what we want. We, we want to we want to just bring us together, all right, and have a good time. That's what it's about. And are you guys on Facebook? Whoever's on Facebook, there's a Facebook page called Atlanta Cigar Society, whatever it is. There's a, there's a bunch of. Them. Once I find out, I'll put it together because usually sends it to me and then I I promote it also. If you guys are on Facebook, follow Cigar Lady Annette, you'll find it. All right. So so my thing is, anyone that's interested in Metro Atlanta Cigar Society. Black Smoke 2016, see me before you leave. We can definitely get your contact information and get the itinerary over to you so you'll know exactly where we're gonna be the whole time. We got, we only take your evenings. You have your days to do what you wanna do, but it's gonna be a fun filled weekend of smoking some serious cigars. We got uh, three Cigar 101 set up, and let me explain that real quick. A one-on-one -on -one means that that company comes out and introduce their cigars to us before the retailers in the United States learn about the cigars. And we give them that time to present their cigars, smoke them, enjoy them, and we do our own thing, of course, with our bottles, doing what we do. And then we bring in the next one, they do the same thing. We got three that are already set up for the 22nd, all right? And then we also take over a floating lounge, just to kind of let you know. We take over a floating bar inside a plaza. Now here's the beautiful part about this floating bar. The entire industry is there. Now, they weren't there we were, before. We were already doing it, but they're there. They took a spot that was ours, right? But when we walk in the door, the managers of that establishment have them get up and provide seating for us to sit down and do our thing. The important thing when, you're, when you come into that event is that we need you to wear all black. All black. All black on that night. And then when we walk into that, when we walk into that establishment, they recognize who we are. Well, they recognize who Rick Davis is, which is Mac. But when you walk into that establishment in all black, they move. Now, you gotta understand this. This is IPCPR. This is the whole cigar industry of the world, right? Second. 